Hi guys, it's Jamie here. We're still filling our seven tier pocket from the other day. In today's tutorial, we're going to take this to this. I'm going to use some scraps and add to this background. I don't really mind what bits of paper I'm using for this. All we're going to do initially is get some scrap pieces down onto here without really thinking about it too much. I'm only going to use a prick stick. The idea is to do something quick because I've put a dark piece here. I might put a dark piece in that corner. A regular shape there. A bit of red that I could maybe put up here. I've also got some washi tape. I also have some washi tape that's golden in colour. I'm just layering a few bits up at the moment bit of the funky 1970s orange on here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is seal this down with some clear gesso. I'm going to take some white gesso, use my finger, and while it's still wet, cover some of these joins and areas between. Take down the colour. The non-dominant hand get some scribbles on, watercolour crayons. I'm going to take some complementary colours. These are cheap, they're not expensive, these ones. I get some colour through this. Get it wet. Don't quite know what's gonna happen. Get another colour. Quite a bit of that one on there. Probably don't need as much of that yellow. So you can take a bit of tissue and just get some up. You can use your finger to guide it. Got orange down in this corner. Try moving some dark areas through this. See what happens with this red. Nice colour, I think. Lost track a little bit of how much or what colour I've used. Doing a bit of grey. Want a darker edge. Got some nice colours, but what I would like is some dribbles. Splash some ink on. That might be slightly too much. I wonder what will happen if we just add a bit of white gesso to bits that are, are wet. This is nearly dry. What I'm going to do now is take some of the white gesso and lighten some areas. Not too bad. So this now still pops against that background. Okay, let's just get this over. Try not to move these colours around too much. Got some brush marks in there. I'm going to try to smooth that off. I have grabbed three watercolour pencils. The Carmine Red, the Black, and I think this is a dark chocolate. Bit of detail, but hopefully quite lightly. Chocolate brown. Not happening there at all. Let's try the black. has managed to get not quite so red. I think the next stage will be to try and get some white splashes on this. Slightly too many. See if we can get them up. Okay, let's see if we can do it this way. More control maybe. Something similar with black. Okay, the 
only other thing I might like to do is do a bit of fine lining and I might not want to do this I don't know yet it won't work for long because this paper's wet I have to resort to my stabilo which is much stronger of course we did do those pencil lines earlier that didn't really stay on do have these edges paper all I've done off camera is edge this with the stabilo again to get a sharper framing and also take one of the prompts from the gratitude poppy's gratitude which is hidden blessings and I went over it with a bit of espresso and outlined it so that that can be stuck to this card. While that dries properly, this will need backing as you can see. And I do still have some of that spare paper from yesterday. Looking at these boxes, I'm wondering whether we just go for a big one, get something behind that, edge this with some black. I'd still want something under here. I have this next square and I might use that rather than a fussy cut. Go along this edge with the black. dramatic but that gives you journaling space there got my spray and shine to protect all this otherwise it's going to come off in your hands i only have one of these left in my box therefore i'm assuming we only have one left to go to complete that seven tier pocket we will do that next time until then bye